My name is London Carter. In the neighborhood, they call me Zell. I was born in 1954, and as a young man in the West Adams area, I was automatically born into Blood Alley. Blood Alley was a gang here in the West Adams area before Hoover Park family, before NHB 20s. It was all first Blood Alley. And this has nothing to do with the blood that we know today as a gang in LA. Not like different blood sets that blood came out. Sets. No, it had nothing to do with Bloods and Crips then. Yeah. I, I, w I must have been around 14 years old at Foshe Junior High School. Uh, I came up with a lot of uh, guys my age uh, from Vermont. Some came from 24th Street School. And we were just like automatically in our neighborhood, we was automatically uh, Baby Blood Alley. That's what, uh, what game we had in the West Adams area. The cast that was my age in, in Baby Blood Alley was like uh, Rudy and Dwayne. Uh, those are brothers I can remember, Michael Darby. Uh, these cats grew up on uh, Adams and, uh, and Butlong. You know, we all was young, started at Vermont Avenue School, then went on to Fauche. Those are some of the names now. Some of the guys that came up, I'm 64 years old now, uh, is, is a lot that's not around now, though, you know? Did you guys have any conflict with different neighborhoods when you were at Vermont or at at, um, in, at the junior high? Well, you know, when we was Baby Blood Alley, uh, the only, uh, you may have a conflict with some businessmen or some outlaws or some slossing at the Arlington Skating Ring or the Hollywood Skating Ring, but we fought with these. We fought with our fists. Next week, we'll be drinking Ripple with them, you know? shooting dice or whatever. It, it didn't carry on like it's carrying on now. Nobody died. You know, we used to drink that uh, Swiss Malt liquor, drop a couple of Truanols or Red Devils, drinking that Cisco, uh, uh, and um, it wasn't like it is now. Yeah, we had conflicts, maybe over a woman, maybe over uh, back then and there, the whole set didn't fight each other. You know how they used to do it back there? Say like somebody from my set that called himself a leader from Blood Alley. Well, he may fight somebody from businessmen or gladiators, and they they they'll squash it. They they'll fight. When it was when it was over with, it was squashed though. You know. Where are some areas around here that you hung out as uh, Blood Alley? You and your crew. Where would you guys go? Uh, we had El Rey Tacos uh, right there on Adams of Vermont. We had the Golden Bird right there on. Adams and Normandy, the Golden Bird, you know. We uh, we had uh, Johnny Pastrami's right there off of Adams and Crenshaw. These are historic places too, now they are. You know, those was like peaceful days then, you know, back in the day, you know. It was peaceful days, you know, peaceful so, times. So uh, what year was this about when you was hanging out in all these places? How far back are we talking about? We're we going back to Fauche, we're going back to uh, the mid the mid sixties, the mid sixties when we used to party, go to the skating rings, you know. And had the Watts riots already happened? And do you remember the Watts riots happened? Oh yeah, I was eleven years old in nineteen sixty five. You know, burn baby burn. I was, I I stayed on Gage and Hooper. You know, I was eleven years old during the Watts riot. I happened to be, I was on the east side then. My mother had moved. We was on the east side during the Watts riot. Uh, we eventually moved back over to the west side, though, you know. Now, when you was young, was there another neighborhood around here called the Vultures? Do you remember anything? Have you heard of the No, I, I don't remember the Vultures. I remember, uh, like I said, the, the gangs that I remember, I could tell you where they were at. Uh, at Magno, you had the Gladiators, and John Mayer, they were like the baby gladiators. They called themselves Vikings. Jeff had the businessmen and outlaws, you know. Uh, the Rebel Rousers is over at Darcy. Fremont was the Slauson with Bunchy Carter in them, though, you know? And, uh, you know, when uh, Geronimo Pratt came out of, came back from Vietnam, all those gangs I just mentioned, the Rebel Rousers, the Bidenmans, the Outlaws, the Gladiators, all them turned Black Panthers. When he came back, all those gangs was conscious, though, you know? And, and why I'm there, why I'm there on Geronimo Pratt and why I'm on the Vietnam, 
I was in the Vietnam uh, era too. You know, where blood came from, all the brothers used to call themselves in Vietnam blood. They've been using blood for a long time though. They was using blood for a long time. You can catch the Vietnam brothers, two brothers. You can have a white man and, 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 and a black man down in the trenches and they were calling each other blood. Because they, they only depended on each other, they had each other. Now, do you know how the, the name Blood Alley came about? Like, who named it? And, and did it represent an actual area in the neighborhood? Well, I can't tell you. Um, I'm only 64 years old. I was born in 1954. Blood Alley is way out before I came. Um, I, I, I can't tell you the birth date of Blood Alley. Like I said, I was born into it, though, in the West Adams area, though, you know. And it was basically the West Adams area. We had the Boulevard Show in Washington and Vermont. And we have, uh, we, I could go far as down uh, uh, Western. Uh, 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 what's the name of that, uh, that market? Don Ray's. Don Ray's? Don Ray's. Yeah, Don Ray's, 24th Street School. The, uh, the 10 Freeway was built in 1964. But to be truthful with you, I can't um, tell you when uh, it, the birth of the uh, of Blood Alley. I just knew this West Adams as being a young man, always been Blood Alley to me. When I entered uh, uh, Manyards High School, uh, we used to hang up here at Hoover Park where we are now having this interview, and we had a, a, a karate class, and that was the birth of uh, Hoover Park family through the karate class in 1969. So in 1969, at uh, Manyards High School, you had uh, that share at this school, you have Blood Alley, excuse me, not Blood Alley, you have Hoover Park Family, Fruit Town Browns, and the Gladiators from off of the, uh, those uh, projects right there on Jefferson and uh, Vermont. We're all at Manyard High School. So then how did, how did Hoover Park Family start? Like, you you must be first generation Hoover Park Family. Yeah, I'm first generation Hoover Park Family. You know, uh, and Hoover Park family, most most of the most of the older Hoover Park family, and a lot of older guys from NHBs, all of us used to be in one gang, Blood Alley, back in the day. Skipping them, OG, OG Skip, because yeah. there's two skips, not skip. yeah, yeah. OG, skip. OG Skip. You got a skip from Second Call, right. which was from this neighborhood too, but OG Skip and me was Blood Alley. A lot of a lot of older twin a lot of older guys from twenties and a lot of older guys from Hoover Park family before we was twenties and before we was Hoover Park family we were all Blood Alley. When a young man got killed at the Hollywood Palladium over his leather jacket, some Crips jumped on him, took his leather jacket. He died. You know his lawyer, his father was a lawyer, I believe, and uh, we 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 heard about it. What we wanted to do is protect. Our, our neighborhood, our park. We didn't want no Crips coming on this side, you know. Uh, we were like, in the karate class, was like a family, like brothers and sisters, though, you know. And we came up with the name family, though, you know. And uh, we started recruiting. We asked most of the, the brothers, the, the brothers that came into uh, the karate class that, that wanted to, uh, that wanted to be with Hoover Park family. You know, I, I took this part, Malcolm X has said this in, uh, in, in uh, Malcolm X movie, when the young man ran in the cafe and he asked Malcolm X, could he join? Yeah, I seen what y'all done out there with those police officers. I want to be a Muslim. And Malcolm X asked him, do you know what it means to be a Muslim? And the young man said no. And the young man turned around and was walking out the cafe and Malcolm X said, you shouldn't give up so easy. But know about something that you want to join. It was the same way with me. When people wanted to join Hoover Park family, uh, this don't join because you like the name. Do you know what it means to be in Hoover Park family? We were very strict on brothers uh, learning self-defense, though. Who was teaching karate? It was, his name was Don. His name was Don, and he wasn't charging. It was, it was free to the community. Whoever lived in the community could join the class. Whether you was, in a, 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 whether you was from a gang or not, uh, you could join the class and he didn't charge. He kind of figured what we was doing and whatever. But when you came in his class, you was in his class. 
as a student, not as a gang member, as a student. You didn't take none of that stuff into his class, though. So what was the rest of your high school experience like at, at uh, Manual Arts? Did you stay there for the, for the whole three years? Yeah, for the whole three years. Right. Uh, we were there, uh, a young man uh, from Hoover Park family, Tony, uh, he got killed on campus there at the school. Um, I was I was gone by then. Was Tony the first one to die from Hoover Park family? Yeah, yes, sir, he was the and first one. what was one. the specifics around that? Well, um, you know, he was killed by 30s, though, you know? They were on campus that day. Um, and I, like I said, I wasn't there. Uh, Tony didn't, Tony, he didn't have no gun or nothing like that. Tony was like a brown belt, though, you know? And I don't know what happened, though, but he got shot by 30. After he got shot by 30, I hear that Hoover Park family, they farmed, they went up to Dinker Park. And when they went up to Dinker Park, they were looking for any Harlem that they could find. They went in the gym where they were at, where people was playing basketball. Harlem in 20s, far as I, I can remember, never got along. That, that, that war, the hatred right there, is older than the Vietnam War. I graduated in 72. 1974, I volunteered to go in the U.S. Army uh, because I wanted to better my life than this Hoover Park. I wanted to see the world, you know, and I figured uh, the, the best way I could go, you know, O.J. and all of them were over at USC, Charles White. Uh, my mother didn't have enough money to send me to, to uh, to USC, UCLA, you know, trade tech was free at the time, LA City College, but I entered in the Army. I think one, that's one of the best decisions that I ever made, is to go and serve my country, uh, instead of tearing up my community, you know? So you went in 74? I went in 1974. So that was the tail end of the Vietnam War? Yeah, they was bringing them back then. Now, I didn't go to Nam, I got stationed in Germany. but. Now that's when things start really heating up when I when I went into the army. Yeah, things started to change. Yeah, yeah, things was changing because when I came back, it was a whole new different era though, you know, when I came back. When when I came back, it was just rolling twenties. Neighborhood. Neighborhood, rolling twenties. That's when I came back, that's that that was running things now. Thanks for watching StreetGangs.com. Please like and share the video you just watched and leave a comment below to tell us what you think. You can also watch two of our previous episodes to the right. Please visit the link to our Patreon page and support our campaign. And don't forget to subscribe.